morning everyone this is Gabriel from Blue My Mind reporting for October 8th I'd like to give everyone an introduction of how the blurb software works on a Macintosh I've already installed the program it's called Booksmart so let's get started so the program has started it has its own little uh, walkthrough of how to get things going so we'll click on start a new book we'll choose the largest format at the top you put in the author's name so we'll say blew my mind and title YouTube test click on continue it asks you what type of layout you'd like to choose so We'll just use photo album for this scenario, hit continue, and we'll get the photos from my computer. And I'll hit continue. It's asking me how I'd like the program to automatically choose the picture, so I'm just choosing randomly that I'll allow it to choose the oldest to newest. I'll create a dark room. and away we go so this is how the program looks like I'll expand it if you ever see this icon here it means that uh, the resolution is is too low to print the minute you readjust it by sliding this out it will disappear if the resolution will be good to print so as you can see at re this resolution I'm able to print now the program has a lot of different features as you can see it's showing me the the back cover the front cover the inside leaves and all the different pages one after the other we can get the pictures from my computer Flickr, photo bucket picasa smug and from another person using the same program. We'll go and get a few more pictures from my computer. Just grab all of these pictures here randomly. Now that all the pictures are in, all I need to do is choose the picture and start sliding it in. As you can see here, the resolution is not good, so I've received a warning. If I put the picture here, I got another warning, so I always have to reduce the quality. Just so that you know, as you add pictures, a check mark is added to the, the picture photo album on the left so you know which pictures you've used versus which ones you haven't if you want to ever rotate your pictures you can do so by clicking on these icons here if you want to expand it to f or shove it in the left corner in the middle or in the right you just click there when to add more pages you choose whichever setting you like as you <clears throat> go through one page to the other if for whatever reason the layout is not to your liking you go
suggest you use this program. It's very inexpensive and it's one of the rare ones that allow you to go 11 by 14. Thanks for watching and have a great one.